Hey everyone, this is Trinity Renee from Doki Doki Peach Sticks, and today I'm going to show you how to make that perfect bow for any Sailor Moon cosplay or any Japanese schoolgirl uniform. I used this pattern to do the bows off my Eternal Sailor Jupiter cosplay. See how great it came out? So here are the supplies that you will need. You'll need between a yard and a half and a yard of fabric, a pair of scissors, and a hot glue gun. And of course, you'll certainly need your sewing machine. You want to cut your fabric out in two shapes, a rectangle and the bottom bow shape. Make sure there's a bridge of fabric between the two sides so that it'll fold easily when it comes time to connect it to the bow. Now it's time to sew the fabric. Before you start, check to see if your sewing machine is threaded. I have problems remembering mine. Next, if your fabric is cut along the fold, flip it inside out. This makes it easier to pull it out once we're done. Sew along the edges, but leave a hole big enough for your hand to fit through. This will be used to flip the fabric. Remember, it doesn't have to be sewn perfectly. It's all on the inside, so even if the edges are off, no one will notice. Now it's time to flip the fabric. Using the hole that you made, push the inside of the fabric out. The hole should be big enough for your hand. That way, you can poke the corners out using your fingers. The corners won't be sharp, but that's okay. We don't live in a manga world after all. Now it's time to sew the hole. After getting the edges of the fabric tucked inside, sew the hole closed. Don't forget to use thread that matches the fabric color. I used the dark blue here so you guys could see what I'm doing. Once you're done, clip the leftover strings. I know it doesn't look like a bow yet, but you're already a quarter done. Now we do the exact same thing with the bottom bow. Again, leave a hole big enough for your hand to fit through. I left it at the bridge of the fabric because it's easier to flip it inside out. Again, don't worry about it being perfect, it's the inside. You just want to make sure that there are no holes within the seam line. Now let's flip it. I tend to have trouble with the bottom bow because when I flip it, I get two balls of fabric on either side. If this happens, just grab your scissors or a wooden spoon to poke out the corners. Again, the corners won't be sharp, but they should be sharper than the top part of the bow. Once again, we sew the hole closed. Now for the fun part. After you plug in your hot glue gun, use the extra fabric to cut a thick strip. This will be your middle piece. Now, take your rectangle piece and pinch it in the middle. See how it crunches up? Use your hot glue gun and put a dab of glue between each fold, front and back. Once you're finished, set it aside and let it dry for a moment. If you need to, grab another glue stick. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Now, take the bottom bow and fold it in the middle to create a triangle. Glue one side of it, gently pat it down, and then glue the inside. The two bottom corners should be close to touching at this point. Once the folds are glued, take your thick strip of fabric and glue it to one flat side wrapping it around as many times as you can before gluing it back to the flat part. This is your middle and the top of the bow. Look, we're almost finished! Lastly, take the bottom bow and glue it to the back of the top bow. If you need to, let the tip curl over the top just slightly.
and now you're done. Let the glue set for a moment, and then it should be ready for any cosplay you need it for. That's it. See how easy that was? Now you can make that perfect bow for all your cosplay needs. Until next time, this is Trinity Renee, signing off.